The James Webb Space Telescope has just achieved a historic milestone by capturing the first ever real and authentic image of Amuamua. Although this enigmatic interstellar object was first discovered by scientists in 2017, there were a lot of doubts about whether the picture obtained at that time was enough to tell us everything we ought to know about this strange visitor. But now a significant breakthrough has offered new insights with an exclusive image captured by JWST. How relevant is this discovery to scientists, and what new details does it reveal? Join us on this cosmic journey, James Webb Telescope just captured a terrifying object in space. Oumuamua is the first confirmed object from another star to visit our solar system. This interstellar visitor looks like a rocky, cigar-shaped object with a reddish tint. The discoverers named it Oumuamua, which means a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaii. Oumuamua is up to one quarter mile, 400 meters, long and very elongated, about 10 times longer than it is wide. This aspect ratio is greater than any asteroid or comet observed in our solar system so far. While its stretched-out shape is surprising and different from objects in our solar system, it could offer new insights into how other solar systems form. The observations suggest that this unusual object has been drifting through the Milky Way, not bound to any star system, for hundreds of millions of years before its unexpected encounter with our solar system. But how exactly was Oumuamua found? Stay tuned, because the most shocking part is yet to come. On October 19, 2017, a strange object named Oumuamua was detected speeding through our solar system. This asteroid had been traveling for over a century before it was finally identified. It reached a significant cosmic milestone in 1837, but astronomers missed it. Oumuamua continued its journey through our solar system for several decades at a steady speed, and astronomers and telescopes failed to detect it. It wasn't until 2017 that Robert Work, a scientist at the University of Hawaii, noticed a faint elongated streak in the sky captured by the PanStars-1 telescope, revealing a fast-moving object unlike any seen before. Initially, scientists thought Oumuamua was a comet because of its unusual behavior, but they later identified it as an asteroid, a small rocky object usually found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. However, further observations showed that Oumuamua was moving away from the Sun at an unusual rate deepening the mystery. The lack of visible outgassing, which typically occurs in comets, puzzled scientists as the object accelerated in a way that defied predictions, leading them to question whether it was truly an asteroid or a comet. One of the most remarkable features of Amuamu was its consistent brightening and dimming every 7.3 hours, indicating that it was tumbling and most likely spinning around its shorter axis. Such speeds suggested that Oumuamua was a solid object with a stronger and more durable composition than most comets, which are typically loose and fragile. Its dark red color, similar to that of moons in the outer solar system, showed that it had been exposed to cosmic radiation for millions of years, altering its surface. As experts analyzed the data, suspicions about the true nature of Oumuamua began to surface. Some speculated that it might be an advanced extraterrestrial probe or a defunct alien spacecraft while others considered more likely possibilities, such as a previously unknown type of comet or asteroid. Even more conservative theories suggest that Oumuamua is a remnant of an exoplanet that was ejected during a catastrophic event in another star system. There is still no consensus on what Oumuamua actually is. Predicting Oumuamua's future path has proven difficult because it has already started to move away from the Sun, exiting our solar system at a sharp angle. Current estimates suggest that Oumuamua is returning to interstellar space, where it will continue its lonely journey across the universe. The discovery of Oumuamua sparked intense debate and interest among astronomers, scientists, and the general public. This unusual cosmic object, the first of its kind ever found, inspired a flood of theories trying to explain its origins and nature. Was it just a regular cosmic object, or could it have been an alien probe sent to explore our solar system? Let's look deeper into the various theories and evidence that have emerged in the effort to understand the mystery of Oumuamua. Because of the various data that was gathered, theories concerning Oumuamua evolved. Some experts suggested that Oumuamua might be filled with gas, which could explain its sudden acceleration as it moved away from the sun. Then came the shocking suggestion that it might not be a natural object at all, but rather an alien spacecraft. The unusual properties of Oumuamua, particularly its non-gravitational acceleration, support this idea. Typically, comets accelerate due to outgassing, the release of gas and dust as they approach the sun and heat up, but no such outgassing was observed with Oumuamua. Therefore, some researchers began to consider more unconventional ideas. 
could this be a probe sent by an extraterrestrial civilization to investigate Earth? Although this sounds like science fiction, for those who believe in the possibility of extraterrestrial life, it is one of the most fascinating ideas. Dr. Michio Kaku, a well-known theoretical physicist, suggested that Amuamua was ejected from a distant star during a supernova explosion. According to billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, the object might have formed when two celestial bodies collided and melted, resulting in its unique hybrid shape. Initially astronomers were excited to find that Amuamua's trajectory appeared to be aligned with Vega, the brightest star in the Lyra constellation, known for its debris disk. Calculations suggested that Amuamua might have taken about 600,000 years to reach its current position from Vega. However, this theory quickly fell apart when it became clear that Amuamua's path had changed during its journey. Astronomers concluded that it must have passed close to a new star system before entering our solar system. Its speed was similar to that of nearby stars, increasing the likelihood that Amuamua had been traveling through the Milky Way for billions of years before crossing paths with our solar system. Another interesting theory suggests that Amuamua is a piece of nitrogen ice. Researchers Alan Jackson and Stephen Desch of Arizona State University propose that it could be debris blown off a Pluto-like object by a massive impact. For this theory to hold, Amuamua would have to be much smaller than previously thought. Despite this, the nitrogen ice theory has gained traction since it can explain both the object's composition and its unusual acceleration. One of the most significant discoveries made shortly after Amuamua's detection was that it was traveling in a hyperbolic orbit, a boomerang-shaped trajectory that strongly indicated it was not native to our solar system. Instead, it was just passing through and would never return. This revelation led to speculation about its future visibility, with many believing that Amuamua would disappear into space, never to be seen again. But Amuamua would defy all odds and prove most theories wrong. However, the object's behavior defied expectations. One particularly notable feature was its unexpected increase in speed as it approached the Sun. While gravitational forces from large celestial bodies like planets and stars can speed up smaller objects such as comets and asteroids, they couldn't fully explain Amuamua's acceleration. The object's speed reached 54 miles per second, 87 kilometers per second, about three times that of the average comet in our solar system. This anomaly prompted experts to reconsider their initial classification of the object as an asteroid, leading many to speculate that it might actually be a comet. Recently, Jennifer Bergner, a chemistry professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and Daryl Seligman, a postdoctoral fellow at Cornell University, suggested a new explanation. They proposed that Oumuamua's acceleration could be due to outgassing driven by unfamiliar processes occurring outside our solar system. According to their theory, while Amuamua traveled through interstellar space, it was exposed to cosmic radiation. This radiation might have released stored hydrogen trapped in the object's icy structure. When Amuamua entered the solar system and warmed up, this hydrogen could have been released, providing the force needed to explain its acceleration. Their calculations indicated that the outgassing of hydrogen might account for Amuamua's movement. Decades of experiments support their idea that high-energy cosmic rays can break hydrogen molecules from water ice, storing it within an object. Seligman claimed this explanation is simpler and more plausible than previous, more speculative theories, such as Amuamua being made of hydrogen ice or some exotic material. However, not all scientists agree. Harvard scientist Avi Loeb, who had previously suggested that Amuamua might be an alien spacecraft, disagreed with Bergner and Seligman's theory. Loeb argued that they overestimated the amount of hydrogen Amuamua could contain due to an error in their temperature calculations. According to Loeb, there wouldn't have been enough hydrogen to cause the observed acceleration, leaving the mystery unresolved. With Amuamua now out of reach, we may never know its true nature or chemical composition. Seligman remains hopeful that more interstellar objects will be discovered soon, giving astronomers more chances to study these visitors. The next generation of telescopes, expected to be operational within the next decade, could greatly advance this research and help answer questions about interstellar objects. As scientists debated Amuamua's origins and behavior, they encountered a new surprise, the possibility that Amuamua isn't alone. Recent findings suggest it might have a companion interstellar object. This discovery raises new questions. What could this companion be, and did it play a role in Amuamua's strange journey to our solar system? Could it signal a new era in our understanding of cosmic events, or does it hint at something more ominous? Some scientists have proposed sending robotic probes, equipped with sails to intercept and study Amuamua more. 
closely. These missions would take decades to reach the object and could shed light on whether it contains any signs of extraterrestrial technology or evidence of past cosmic events. The idea of interstellar probes is reminiscent of the Starshot Initiative, a real-world effort to send tiny spacecraft to nearby star systems. Could Amuamua be the precursor to such efforts, a hint that our future as an interstellar civilization is closer than we think? Stay tuned as we continue to explore this mysterious cosmic visitor and unlock the secrets of the universe many researchers argue that this idea is purely theoretical and lacks substantial evidence. In 2021, a letter published in Astronomy and Astrophysics dismissed the feasibility of interstellar travel, citing the immense cosmic time scales involved in traveling between stars. The authors concluded that Amuamua is more likely a natural object, possibly an unusually shaped rock, rather than a probe sent by an alien civilization. Other studies supported this natural explanation, pointing to hydrogen outgassing as the most probable cause of Amuamua's strange acceleration. On March 22, 2023, researchers presented findings indicating that as Amuamua passed through the inner solar system, it likely released hydrogen trapped within its icy body, mimicking propulsion from an unknown source. Despite these explanations, the Pentagon has intensified its investigation into unexplained aerial phenomena within U.S. airspace. Since its establishment, the All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office has launched over 360 new investigations into reports of unidentified objects involving U.S. military personnel. Approximately half of these cases have been attributed to balloons or other known objects, while the other half remain unresolved due to insufficient data. To uncover the mysteries of interstellar space and investigate objects like Amuamua, humanity needs a deeper understanding of dark energy and other cosmic phenomena. The idea of sending a spacecraft to chase this mysterious object is exciting but presents significant challenges. For instance, Amuamua, moving at extraordinary speeds, will pass beyond Saturn's orbit in two years. With a hyperbolic excess velocity of 5.5 AU per year, this mission would be unlike anything humanity has attempted. Even our fastest spacecraft cannot match these speeds. So what kind of vessel could undertake such a mission? Should we rely on advanced technologies like solar sails or explore more speculative propulsion methods like wormholes? As we consider these technological challenges, it's important to recognize that humans are unique among Earth species in their desire to explore space. Most animals on Earth, from birds to reptiles to fish, have no concern for what lies beyond their immediate surroundings. Even among intelligent species like whales, the concept of space exploration or communication with extraterrestrial life is entirely foreign. This raises an intriguing question. If Earth's intelligent species largely ignore space, what does this suggest about potential extraterrestrial civilizations? Could they, like Earth's creatures, be indifferent to the broader cosmos? This ties into the Fermi paradox. Given the universe's 14 billion year history and the fact that humans have only recently acquired technology to detect alien signals, it's conceivable that we're just beginning to scratch the surface. For all the radio waves and communications we've sent into space, the vastness of the universe makes them seem like a grain of sand thrown at a distant mountain peak. Despite this, scientists remain hopeful that extraterrestrial civilizations exist, which is what the Fermi paradox addresses. It highlights the conflict between the high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations and the lack of evidence for their existence. With over 400 billion stars in our galaxy, many potentially harboring habitable planets, it seems likely that intelligent life should have arisen elsewhere and developed interstellar travel. Since many stars are billions of years older than our sun, such civilizations should be far more advanced. Yet, no strong evidence has surfaced. The Fermi paradox questions why we haven't had any contact, leading some to suggest that our search is futile, with critics arguing that unless extraterrestrials make themselves known, there's little reason to continue funding programs like SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. The paradox was named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, where is everybody, during a casual conversation with colleagues. His question, often misunderstood, essentially asked, if extraterrestrials exist, why aren't they here? Despite advancements in technology and a deeper understanding of the universe, we still lack a satisfactory answer. While scientists have refined estimates regarding the number of galaxies, stars and habitable planets, the vast unknowns persist. For instance, while we can theorize about the likelihood of life forming on other Earth-like planets, there is little data to support these predictions. The existence of life on Earth does not guarantee that it will occur elsewhere. 
many attempts to solve the Fermi paradox range from mundane to extraordinary. Some suggest that civilizations are too far apart or lack the technology to communicate across such distances. Others propose that advanced civilizations intentionally remain silent, either to avoid detection or because they aren't interested in exploring the universe. The dark forest theory, which speculates that intelligent civilizations stay hidden to ensure survival, presents a particularly unsettling view. In a universe with limited resources, revealing one's existence could lead to annihilation by a more advanced species. This theory assumes that extraterrestrial life would think similarly to humans, prioritizing survival and competition. However, alien intelligence could be so different from ours that we may not understand its motives or methods. Another hypothesis posits that humanity might be one of the most advanced civilizations in the galaxy, and other civilizations are simply less technologically developed. If an alien species is just a century behind us, they may have only been transmitting signals for a short time, and those signals may not have reached Earth yet. In 2019, amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov discovered a new interstellar comet, named 2i Borisov. This comet, traveling at an astonishing 93,000 miles per hour, became only the second confirmed interstellar object after Oumuamua. Unlike Oumuamua, 2i Borisov was easily classified as a comet, with a visible tail and a familiar reddish hue, offering insights into the diversity of interstellar objects. Observations of such objects continue to fuel theories about extraterrestrial origins, and even the Pentagon has speculated about the existence of an extraterrestrial mothership within our solar system. Among the most fascinating cosmic phenomena are black holes. These form when massive stars collapse under their gravity, creating regions from which even light cannot escape. Black holes are thought to number in the millions across the universe, and our own Milky Way galaxy contains an estimated 100 million. Once considered distant objects, recent discoveries have brought them closer to home. For example, Gaia BH1, a black hole only 1600 light years away, was discovered using data from the European Space Agency's Gaia spacecraft. This discovery, three times closer than any previously known black hole, offers a new opportunity to study these mysterious objects. The Gaia spacecraft's ability to track multi-star systems has made it a crucial tool in revealing new cosmic phenomena such as nearby black holes, further enhancing our understanding of the universe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.